From the 11th century, Kano State has been a commercial center for northern Nigeria. It's also a trade center for most West African countries. <laughs> to sustain the status and attract the new emerging trends of global economy and investment, Kano State is collaborating with the Lagos State Government in order to generate more income for the state. The Emir of Kano believes this is a good development. On the one hand, I think there's a lot of experience sharing uh, as urban centers, as cities with uh, a long history of commerce and industry uh, with very large population, and as nodes of growth in their respective regions. Um, Lagos um, in the south and Kano has always been the central, central economic um, driver of northern Nigeria. The major areas of partnership include infrastructure, security, and areas of revenue generation in the country. We are looking at a more sustainable cooperation between Kano and Lagos, not just to hold one summit and forget about it, but really to establish a framework for regular consultation and cooperation. For you and our government to have this vision, it's quite instructive on how we need to show the direction for the rest of the country, especially in that uh, Lagos and Kano have the highest concentration of our citizens. Governor Gandhiji believes this decision taken by both states will help resolve the rivalries across the country. Because of the comparative advantages that we have, another one also on geopolitics to see that how the country can be balanced by populations. When Lagos is in peace, Kano is in peace, I think Nigeria is in peace. Within the next few days, the Kano Lagos Joint Economic and Investment Summit officials are expected to come up with resolutions on the roles of the state governments in addressing the various challenges in cities across the country.